So if you want the perfect hip move in the downswing, you have to do what the famous golfer Sam Snead was doing back in the day. So we're gonna dive into exactly how to do it because this is something every golfer can do and it's gonna be massive for you to control your hips properly in the downswing. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So the best lower body movement ever in the game of golf, in my opinion, is Sam Snead. So a lot of you who are familiar with golfing history will know that name very well, and that's because he was one of the greats of golf. Played most of his career from late 30s to mid 60s, I believe 65 was the last year he won on tour. That long career is because how good his golf swing was, mainly because his lower body movement was so good, in the downswing especially, and you can get it too. Because this is something that I just can't work out how many other golf instructors aren't teaching their students to do it. Probably one of the only other people I know who teaches this is George Gankus. So let's have a little dive into what we need to do here to get this lower body movement. So what we see Sam Sneed like at the top of his backswing now into transition. So when he's transitioning down, we'll see this move that's called the Sam Sneed squat. Ultimately what that is, is his left knee starts to move in this direction, starts to swivel down towards the target. And his right knee actually starts to move a little bit out away from the target as well, which really is just the knees firing away from each other, creates this massive gap and this kind of squatting moves. Again, if you watch a lot of George Gankers, you've, you're definitely familiar with this, the old Gucci squat that he might call it. So what that does, that does a bunch of good things. Look from down the line here. When that left knee starts to go down that target, when it's starting transition, what's that doing? That's starting the downswing of the lower body and that's starting and getting that left hip to go back. So for a lot of guys who struggle with early extension, this would help with it massively because for that knee to go outwards, that left hip goes back. It's like someone's grabbing your trouser pocket on the right hand or left hand side and pulling it back. It's getting that hip that left hip joint there to be more primed to rotate better. Because when we do that and get that left knee going more down this way, it opens up your hip capsule there, it opens up the amount you can rotate in that hip. Because we might see golfers like this in the downswing where both their knees knock in, especially with their left. Now your hip capsule is completely shut off. So your rate of rotation will have to slow down and stall out because you can only rotate so far from there. But if you do what Sam Sneed does, with that left knee and it moves out towards the target here, then you can see how now I can just continue to turn because that hip capsule is open. I can now turn into it. I can continue to turn and get as open as I like for what my body will allow me to do. So anyone can do that. Absolutely anyone can do that. But with the right knee as well, this is a cool one because this really, when Sam Sneed is starting his downswing, you'll see that this right knee will start to gain some flexion. It'll go from being pretty straight to flex in, but that right knee is pointing out, pointing out away. Now, to understand why that's so helpful, I've got to understand again, when golfers do the opposite, what does it do to their hips? When now, this right knee starts to move in instead of out, that causes the tilts of the pelvis to level, so the left hand side will now start to raise up, but you can see what's happening as well, because this knee is firing in so fast. I'm sliding, so I'm sliding in the downswing, and we know if I have a hip slide, my upper body is going to tilt back and I'm going to start to hit some poor strikes because my low point is going to be compromised. Again, am I going to be able to rotate? Of course not. So if we can have that right knee stay a little bit more out, that's going to stabilize the pelvis in reducing excessive lateral movement. It's going to keep the tilt a little bit better. The left side is going to stay a little bit lower for right-handed golfer. And again, that's going to aid a brilliant rate of rotation without having to be compromised by what the body's doing biomechanically. So it is an extremely beneficial thing. So that's understanding it in a little bit of depth. But in a nutshell, in a simple way here, guys, it's just going to help you rotate cleaner. So it might not get you crazy open. Like we said, it will help the amount you get open with that left knee, but it's gonna keep that rotation nice and steady. So let's talk about a drill, of course, how to do it. So a quick break in the video here to talk about online lessons on Skillist. So right now, winter time, perfect time to work on your golf swing ready for the season. And if you wanna do that one-on-one -on -one with me, so just me and you working on your golf swing, you can certainly do that on Skillist. So online lessons, incredibly powerful way to learn and improve your golf swing. My opinion, the best way to work on it, 
so much so I don't even offer in-person lessons anymore. YouTube skillist, that's all that is. So you can see here from the reviews I put up here, they certainly work, they certainly work. So if you wanna do that, I've got any type of lesson option you want, single lesson, package of lessons, unlimited lessons, no excuse to get your game better for the winter time. So there'll be a link down in the description as well. Looking forward to working with you. So guys, let's get into the drill. So see how beaten up this impact ball is. You can have a beaten up impact ball like I do and do this drill, but any medium sized ball, you could even use a basketball will be brilliant for this. Range bucket also can be great. What we do, put it just above our knees, just like that. So now, our whole goal here is to drop it in transition. So we want this to drop to the ground when we're starting our downswing. So it's a great start to the downswing drill as well. So drop it in transition, look what happens. Boom. Look at that. How good is that? Sam Sneed squat right there without me trying to think anything technical. Was I thinking about my knees, my left knee going out, my right knee going out as well? No, I was just trying to drop it. Simplicity is key, guys. Make it simple. You've got to understand it technically, of course, like we've explained here, but then have something easy to be able to get you there. That's what all the top pros do. But it's what amateur golfers do not do. You make it far too complicated. That's why you all struggle so much at golf, because you make it too hard. So, again, let me drop this in transition. That's all I'm going to think of. My knees will stay in that nice position, and then we'll just let what happens happen after that. And there we go, really nice strikes you start to do. So this is also great for golfers who spin out their hips far too early. So yes, this does open up your hips to start off the downswing, but if you're a golfer who really spins them out, quite likely your right knee's caving in as well. So this is for, let's say, golfers usually who are really quite low handicaps. Now I know everyone watching my videos are great golfers, of course but this is for you like, like your real low guys, this can help as well. It will calm down that back knee movement, like we said, calm down the spin. So great for that, or the spinning of the hips, but just encourages the right sequencing of the rotation. So if we do this poorly, what's gonna happen? The ball is gonna get crushed in between your legs. It's not gonna move, it's gonna feel awful. Don't like that. So you can see where that stay, in between my knees. Yes, it did. So I want to drop it in transition and hit it as pure as I just hit that there. So do a lot of them. Hit some balls, of course, like you know the drill structure by now. Eight balls with that, two of out. Boom, brilliant. Feel it when you're not doing it as well, but do way more of the drill than you're doing without the drill. So many of you make that mistake. You do 25% with the drill, and then yet say you do the rest of it without. You wonder why you don't improve. So have a good go at that. You're gonna have a really, really good lower body movement in the downswing just like Sam Sneed. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every single time I put out a video. So get those knees separating. You're gonna play better golf.